Hello, it's John here. We're thinking a little bit about the sun today. God is a God who brings light into the darkness. A God who always sends the dawn after every night. He wants us to know that the darkness doesn't win. The darkness doesn't have the last say. The world is not going to end in darkness. God is a God of light and warmth and love and grace and truth. And he talks about the sun in one of the Psalms. The Psalms are the great songs of his people Israel. And Psalm 19 talks about the sun. Let me read you just a few verses from that psalm. In the heavens, God has pitched a tent for the sun. It is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is deprived of its warmth. The psalm writer, the poet David, is saying that God has given us the sun and the sun is like a bridegroom. Like, like one who comes to, to marry and to bring love and kindness and grace. The sun is like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It's like an athlete full of power and strength and life, knowing that he can run the race set before him. It, it rises on one end of the heavens and makes its circuit. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The whole earth feels the warmth and the light of the sun. And David is giving us the sun as a picture of Jesus, as a picture of his love and his warmth. Seeing that Jesus brings love into our lives like, like our wedding day. Jesus brings um, vigour and strength into our lives like an athlete. Jesus brings warmth and light into our lives like the sun. Now, often we feel like we're living in darkness. We are suffering maybe with physical illness. We're suffering maybe with mental illness. We have anxiety. We have depression. We have pain. We see the brokenness in our families and among our friends. We see the terrible things in the world around us on the news. It can feel like we are living in darkness and, and like the darkness is getting deeper. And God wants us to see that the darkness will not win. He wants us to know that the light triumphs over the darkness. Jesus came and he died on Good Friday in darkness to end the darkness. He did battle against all that is dark and sad and hard and miserable. And in his death, he did not lose, he won. And we see that as he burst out of death on Easter Sunday, rising to new life as the sun itself dawned on the world and Christ brought the light of peace and hope and joy for all of us. The world does not end in darkness, it ends in light. It ends in the wedding, the feast that Jesus will give to his people as he takes us as his bride, as his dearly beloved on the day he comes back. God is full of light and peace and hope and goodness. And maybe as this winter turns into this spring, he is calling you to know him, to set your hope, your peace, your life on him. If you do, you will find that he is trustworthy, that he is kind, and that he is full of light. <laughs>